Okay, what I'm about to show you is a video on how to record audio from your iPod Touch, or iPhone, or PSP, or Nintendo DS. Now, if you saw my previous video, the rock band video or the guitar video, you notice that the audio is actually pretty good, unlike this, which you'll see now. You have to use the speakers, for, you have to rely on the speakers on your device to actually get the audio out of the device. Uh, if you're following, if you're watching this, you'll get your audio to sound like this. Now, first of all, you're going to need a, a couple of tools. You're going to need a cable, which is one side headphone jack or whatever, and the other side, same thing. If you don't have this, then don't waste your download. You just might press the back button now. But if you do, then keep going. Let's keep going. All right. You need that and that first of all. Then you're also going to need a microphone jack, which you'll see in this image. Right, should be. I'll post it right there. Yeah, right there. So once you get that, if you, I can't record it from my computer because it's pretty dark down there. It's underneath my desk, and my camera can't handle it. It's a PSP camera, so. You're gonna have to, you're gonna need a microphone jack and one of these cables to make things work. So if you do, then let's get this tutorial started. Oh, you're also gonna need a device. In this case, I'm gonna use this iPod right here. Um, this method should work for the Nintendo DS, the iPhone, and pretty much any other device that has an iPhone jack. Probably mobile. I haven't tried that, but the PSP may give you a cut, a little bit of static. I don't know how to fix that. You, you, you just have to find a solution on your own, sorry. But that's what it sounds like. If you watch my Kingdom Hearts videos, you'll notice that this sound is okay, but I cut them when the screen goes black and it's in between cutscenes, so. All right, so once you get that started, we need got these two cables, let's begin. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is go to your web browser. We're gonna download a program called Audacity, which is extremely good for recording software. Or recording audio for that matter. So on, in your Google search bar, type in Audacity. It makes it so good is that it's simple and straightforward to use. There's not you pretty much if you don't know how to use audio recording software, then get Audacity and well, you probably know it in like a couple of minutes. Know how to use it in a couple of minutes maybe. So once you go into the website, I'll post the link down in the, below. Um, you can either choose from the one point. 2.6 version or the 1.3.12 version. Now I downloaded the 1.312 version. Uh, I know it says beta, but hey, what's its latest version and it's probably up more updated. Plus, there ha I haven't found any issues with it so far. Everything's been perfect and it's been doing what I wanted it to do. And well, I just highly recommend it. So I'm going to use that as my example because that has the perfect settings for me already. So. Don't ignore the system requirements. If you have Vista or what it is before the 98 that, then don't worry. Even if you have Windows 7, don't worry. It should be, it should work. So I got 64 bit, meaning it works for me. So in Windows 7 as well. You're going to click download and you can choose either one, the first one or the second one. The second one is mainly for 98 SAS MU users. Or you, uh, in my case, I'm going to use the first one, which is for Vista. XP in 2000. So I click that. Now you're going to hit save. I'm going to hit discard because I've already downloaded it and I've already installed it, so it's all good for me. But if you if this is your first time, then you're going to have to save. Once it finishes downloading, open it, then install it by following the instructions. It shouldn't be that hard. If you have any problems installing, then just contact me, ask me anything. If you want, post a comment or send me a message. So I'm going to discard that. Next we're going to download a plugin called LAME MP3 Encoder. Now this allows you to re export MP3 files when you finish recording it. What's it? My video editing software uses MP3 files and I find that, that that high quality means that it's pretty good. So we're going to use that. We're going to download that. You can e export in WAV format if you want to, but I just prefer MP3 and I think most of you do too as well. So 
we're gonna go to the lame download page. Next, we're gonna click the top one. Now, I recommend the top one over the zip file, but if you want to get the zip file, then that's your choice. But I'm warning you, the zip file you have to download it, and by using a program like WinRAR or 7-Zip, you're gonna have to ex well unzip it, get extract the program or the plugin, go to the directory, put it in, go from it through permissions and everything, and that really pissed me off. So. Um, I highly recommend the EXE because it just does it for you and you don't, there's no hassle. And if you want to, you can donate for, to the guys who made Lame for their awesome efforts in creating this plugin. So, now we're gonna close that and we're gonna open up Audacity. So, programs, Audacity, well, it should say that 1.3 beta Unicode. I don't know what Unicode stands for, but hey. Next, we're gonna go into so that's your window you should get up, sorry. Um, pause, plus, play, stop, skip, and all that. Oh, I've got a friend on Steam. Um, then you're going to go edit. Then we're going to go preferences. Should take a while. Then we're going to leave that there. First of all, you want to go to control panel. So that's start, control panel. For Vista users, it should be there. For XP users, um, I forgot, I'm not sure, I'm sorry. But you can Google it, find out how you get that, and it should come up. So, um, you go into sound, which is right here next to remote app and speech recognition. Now click that. And you're going to have to right click and you're going to get these two. So make sure you tick those boxes. You're going to get a couple of extras as well. So, I'm going to put the cable in now. Where did it disappear to? Hang on, sorry. Gonna get the cable. Here's one end, and I've already showed you the head, the microphone jack, because uh, like my camera can't record down in that darkness. And then put that in the other side. And that should come up. Front mic. You just plug it in the device to your audio jack. That's excellent. That's good. Now you also want to make sure that your iPod or device is at maximum volume. You could change the. You could go to properties if you want and change the level enhancements. Or levels. In my case, I put it up to 100, but microphone versus zero. That tends to cause a lot, a lot of static for me. So, all right, just keep that as zero. You can also listen to it, but we're gonna listen to it anyway. So, we're gonna press hit OK, and then we're gonna hit OK. Should apply. Next, one we're back here, you want to make sure that in my case, you gotta find your speakers. So, sorry, I just give it to sound. You see your playback. You wanna find that. Whatever you're playing the sound off, which in my case is a real tech high definition audio speakers. And so that's it there. Playback device, which is there. And recording devices is the stereo mix. That's all I got there. And which is real tech high definition audio. There you go. That's it there. So real tech high, def high definition. Two stereo make it sound better. And alright, I'm going to hit that. So this should work, if it fails then I am screwed, but we're gonna go hit maybe, I don't know, let's pick the piano, grand pro. Now we're gonna hit record, and see that's silent right now, so I'm gonna turn my speakers up so you can hear it. Yeah. That was a bit loud, my bad, I'm sorry. But I'm pretty sure you heard that. Now, don't be afraid if there's a little bit of lag. That's what happens to me as well. And that's a microphone boost number. So we're going to decrease that. Down to levels. I'm going to make that, I don't know, 60. At least, I hope that makes it sound better. No, it didn't. Go again. Sounds. Recording. And you just play with that until you find a good property, so I might have to decrease that a bit more. Press OK. A little bit more. Or you could even might go to 20. And there you have it. That's probably the best setting I've got. 
Uh, once you finish recording, you just expand it there. Um, yeah, it's popped up on that. I think maybe if you left that at 100, you didn't have to decrease it. So let's see what happens if you leave that at 100. And decrease the volume in the eye touch. Yep. You want to make sure that your eye touch is maxed at no matter what. I'm going to get the same thing again. So I'm going to do that at 20. Alright, so that, once you got that, when I hit File, Export, uh, let's call it Piano. Now you can fill that in if you want, the artist name, your track title, your album, track number, year, you made it, genre, or whatever, I'm not going to do that. Let it ex export, 128 kilobytes per second. I think you can increase that, I'm not sure, I haven't tried, but I prefer it anyway. And you should get that piano mp3 file. So I'm going to open it in my uh, video editing program, which is Sony Vegas Pro 9, 64-bit version. Sorry if my screen recorder is stuffing up, by the way. Um, that's all I got. I haven't had a chance to find a good one. I know Camtasia is, but that keeps stuffing up. It doesn't install properly. And there you have it. It should be playable. That was loud. And there you have it. So that's it from this end. And yeah, that's pretty much it from the video program. You just, after you've done that, you record your video, uh, put that in Insta video track in my case, put the video in there and just put it into sync. So that's the end product of this video. I hope that has helped you heaps and answered a lot of questions. If you do need help, don't be afraid to comment me or anything. If you have something that's stuffed up, I'll try and look into it and help you out. Um, if it's okay with you, then that's great. Like it, like this video if you want to, and I don't know, just rate, comment, whatever. Do your own thing. You can even subscribe if you want, but all my videos are on gaming, like random bits of video gaming. So I hope this video helped you out, and thank you for watching. See ya.